This video highlights some of the algorithm steps and results of our Gigapixel Panorama Video Loops paper. Our pipeline to create Gigapixel looping videos consists of several stages. We first capture input video tiles with the aid of a camera mounted on a robotic arm. These tiles are first pre-processed for stabilization and temporal gain compensation. We then stitch them together to estimate camera parameters for each video tile. Next, we apply vignetting removal and color correction to reduce artifacts at tile boundaries. Then we partition the panorama into multiple regions and perform the loop optimization out of core for each region. This also allows us to parallelize the process. Finally, we perform Poisson blending and assemble the tiles into a gigapixel video panorama. The panorama is then diced into a set of square tiles in a 2D grid structure at multiple levels of detail. These tiles are then used by our renderer for real-time navigation. Next, we will highlight some key points during the optimization. First, the optimization includes a motion consistency term to reduce artifacts at the boundaries between static and dynamic regions, as shown in this waving arm example. For supporting multiple input videos, a naive approach would be to stitch the panorama prior to optimization. Instead, we integrate stitching directly into the combinatorial optimization by adding video indices for each pixel into the set of unknowns. Our out-of-core optimization achieves better results when the partition adapts to the content of the input video, so that the contiguous dynamic regions lie within the same partition. Here is our commencement panorama result, which consists of 35 video tiles. Note that a motion consistency term is required in order to prevent the highlighted subject from being split in half. By adjusting the degree of dynamism, we can produce scenes that are either more or less lively. By using video ID labels, we reduce video tile boundary discontinuities in the final panorama. Here's the Gigapixel C front panorama result. When the renderer is unable to load a particular tile in time, a static image is temporarily shown until the tile is loaded. Next we show a comparison of our overlaid input videos on the bottom right against our result on the top left. And here's another comparison. Here's the square panorama result.
Next, we show a comparison of our overlaid input videos on the top left with our result on the bottom right. Our next gigapixel result is a nighttime cityscape panorama. Note the vibrant effect caused by the blinking lights, which is visible even when fully zoomed out. And here is the park panorama. This smaller example shows a close-up scene. Note the high level of detail on the rocks. Due to its close-up nature, the waves are proportionally large. Thus, the different wave motions across tile boundaries can cause very significant differences, as shown in this close-up. Next, we present extensions that allow the user to fine-tune the panorama locally. This editing operation allows the user to replace regions that have spatial inconsistencies with a recomputed solution that has a higher spatial consistency weight. This operation replaces an undesirable dynamic region with a static one. And finally, this operation tracks a user-selected object over the animation and creates a new local solution which removes it entirely. Thank you for your attention.